I'm a lonely Goomba, stuck between two pipes. Well, guess I'll keep on gaming for the rest of my life. You know, apparently, I ain't been eating enough veg lately. I mean, look at me. I got bags under my eyes, I look weak. If I was gonna take a guess, I'd probably say I've only got a few years left to live. I guess my diet of eating absolutely nothing is really starting to catch up with me. So, it's about time we change that, eh? By playing VeggieTales on the Game Boy Advance. That counts, doesn't it? But wait, this isn't just any VeggieTales game, it's VeggieTales, Larry Boy and the Bad Apple. So now, I'm getting both my fruit and veg intake. I'm a genius. I'll be back to being the perfect image of health in no time. So, the game, and uh, well, okay, why does this title screen have such a rocking tune? I mean, listen to this. Didn't really expect a game called VeggieTales to start off with a shredding guitar, but uh, I ain't complaining. You know what else I'm not complaining about? Raid Shadow Legends for sponsoring this video. That's right, it finally happened. It's finally time for me to take a bite out of that Raid Shadow Legends pie. And you know what? It's quite a tasty pie, actually. You've got a ton of cool looking champions, some nasty looking bosses to beat up, and a player base that is absolutely ridiculously huge. Like over a million daily players huge. Now, I've been playing Raid for about a week or so, but the giant active community on Discord has really helped me become a pro at the game already. Ready. And if Discord isn't your cup of tea, there's an active Reddit and Twitch community too. You'll be using the best artifacts and accessories in no time. Heck, you might even find some clans to join too. I mean, who doesn't want to be at the top of that clan leaderboard? Now, you might be thinking, yo Gooms, you're making a pretty good case for Raid here, but what's gonna keep me playing well into the future? Well, updates me lad, constant updates. Heck, even as we speak, they're developing the biggest update ever, the Doom Tower. That's 120 floors of super hard levels and bosses. I mean, just look at this ugly bugger. Don't you just want to cut his face off and do us all a favour? And luckily for you, I got you a special offer for new players that might just help you out. That's right, click that big blatant link in the description, play the game, and click on your inbox here to claim your reward for the next 30 days only. That's 100,000 silver coins and a free epic champion, a Jotun. It's probably worth checking out just for Jotun's beard alone, let's be honest. I mean, just look at it, it's magnificent. Right, uh, that's enough of that, uh, back to VeggieTales then. And, well, look, I don't know much about VeggieTales. Pretty sure it wasn't even shown on the TV here. The most I know about this series is through Saber Spark's slight obsession with it. So, just bear with me, okay? If I don't get any of the references or the music being a song from the show or some shit, uh, just be gentle, okay? Completely unrelated by the way, but don't you just hate it when they don't give you enough space to write your name into a save file? My name isn't Goomba, goddammit! Oh, uh, best not use the Lord's name in vain, given VeggieTales is a Christian series. Uh, I don't want to go to hell, do I? Wait, is it okay to say hell? I don't know anymore. Help me, VeggieTales. Show me the way to salvation. But well, uh, the game gets right to the point. Ain't really any cutscenes or build up or anything really. You just get a few lines of dialogue about rescuing Junior from playing basketball in a construction site. Uh, as you do. And hold up. This is, uh, I'm kind of getting some Mario vs Donkey Kong vibes here. Uh, it's not just me, right? I mean, it's a puzzle platformer. Uh, you got switches, the level layouts are kind of similar, and you even got tutorials before the stages, which look pretty much the same. And to top it off, we're at a blading construction site. You can't get any more Donkey Kong than that. Well, uh, other than a gorilla throwing barrels at you, but uh, there's still time for that to happen. So, the game does start off pretty simple. Yeah, yeah, flicking switches, you're turning on platforms, you're climbing ladders, uh, pushing blocks to beat ledges. It's a poor man's my office, it's Donkey Kong. But, uh, okay, three levels in, and you're introduced to a high jump. And man, if this doesn't look like Mario's backflip, I don't know what does. But I ain't gonna lie, running and jumping around in this game, it feels good. Like, real good. Dare I say, better than Mario. And there's more, because the game then introduced rolling, pipes, uh, grappling hooks, and swinging. I mean, not even Mario could do that. Mario is getting outshot by a cucumber. That's got to hurt. But for real, why is this good? What the heck is going on? And the game just keeps introducing new mechanics too. 
Take this one for example. This pea keeps turning off his bleeding switch, so you gotta pick up a boombox to distract him via dancing. Just look at him go, he's having the time of his life. Uh, I wish I could be that happy. Something weird about the game is though, you can't actually die. I thought you could at first, but uh, no, enemies just sort of slow you down, or uh, reverse your controls, you know, stuff like that. The game is about getting to the end before the time runs out, uh, which for a kids game isn't a bad idea. Although really, they barely slow you down much, to the extent you can pretty much just brute force your way through every enemy. And that's it. Kind of removes a bit of the incentive to play well, you know? Out of me way, Chili. I ain't afraid of you no more. So, eventually, we make it to the first boss and, uh, hold up. That's kind of creepy, actually. It looks a bit like uh, Pokey from Earthbound if he uh, got turned into an apple. An oddly uh, sexual looking apple. And this apple is trying to tempt little Jimmy over here with her uh, basketballs. That sounds a bit weird, actually. I hope that's not an analogy for anything, but uh, really, I just want to know how we got all the way up here. I mean, I like basketball too, but not to the extent I'd climb the Empire State Building or some shit to play it, you know? There aren't even any hoops up here. I mean, what are you stupid or something, Jimmy? Jeez. But the boss and, uh, okay, this is uh, literally Donkey Kong, as if it couldn't get any more blatant. Only, instead of barrels, we got basketballs. And instead of dying by said balls, uh, this happens. You just sort of, uh, do this. I think the less spoke about that, the better. I mean, look, I know that apple is kind of hot, but you got to control yourself, Larry. I mean, come on, have some dignity. So, we get to the top, give Jimmy a lecture about controlling your temptations, and it's on to the next world. And we're introduced to coloured switches. Again, very Mario vs Donkey Kong-like. But, I'm not gonna lie, the music, the speed, the platforming, it's actually, is really good. Like, this is legit really good. I'm kinda shocked. And the levels keep getting more complex too. But look, I mean, it is a kid's game, so it's still pretty easy. Although, it is around here that things start to get a little, uh, weird. Take the second boss, for example. It's just Breakout. I mean, it sort of feels like we're running out of ideas here. I mean, they can't even think of an original boss. Just copy something else. I mean, first we got Donkey Kong. Now Breakout. I mean, what's the final boss gonna be? A game of Pong? I mean, stealing ideas isn't very Christian, you know. And then, right? We introduced to a weird Simon Says piano game. Which, hold up, it expects me to remember all this shit. Who do you think I am, Mozart? I'm not even sure how it works, honestly, so I mess up like an idiot and I fail. I failed a mini game in a game made for young children. The ultimate shame. Next world then, and we're introduced to conveyor belts and the ability to fly, which only opens up even more puzzle aspects. I'm pretty sure that's it bro, that's your lot. There's no new stuff for the rest of the game, which uh, doesn't really matter because we're like well past halfway now. The game's pretty short honestly, uh, perfect for speedrunning. And man, I hope this video is the start of the VeggieTales speedrunning community. Make it happen please, come on, I'm begging you. I want to see it, but we're well, well, the third boss, and I'm not really sure what this is supposed to be. You've got to like reflect the balls into these things whilst protecting this uh, thing. Yeah? It's a bit of a cluster, honestly. And it's kind of hard to get these balls to reflect where you want them to. I'm not really sure what's going on with these bosses. Uh, I think I would have preferred them all to be like Donkey Kong, to be honest. So I'm going to skim past the next few worlds, because uh, it doesn't really change that much. The levels get bigger and more difficult, but it's the same old stuff. Not to say it's bad, but uh, there's not much to say. And as I hate to admit it, the novelty of seeing them dance to that boombox is uh, starting to wear thin. The next box then, and it's at least original as far as I can tell. It's still not very good though. You just gotta open the correct door to let this guy pass and the boss sort of just stands there doing nothing. So it doesn't really feel like we fought this one out much. And on to the final world. And this time we have to overcome our own temptations. Up to this point, we've saved the kid from the dangers of basketball. TV, I think, video games, food, and now the biggest temptation of all. Many have battled this addiction all their lives and failed, but now it's up to Larry to fight his inner demons. His, uh, addiction to candy. Oh god, the horror! But uh, after quickly playing through these final stages, it's time for the final boss, the epic showdown with the sexy apple herself. Here we go! This is it! Let's settle this once and for all with a game of Pong. Mate, I was joking about that earlier. I didn't think they'd actually do it. The fate of the world depends on Pong. 
I somehow always suspected that would be the case, to be honest. Although they made the AI too good. She never misses. And I guess the developers realised this, so they made it so the ball eventually splits into three, so you can't really lose. And that's it. And you know what they say? With great chocolate comes great responsibility. No one says that. Well, shut down again. Screw you, Alfred. No one even likes you. And that's VeggieTales, Larry Boy and the Bad Apple. Was I thought was gonna be a Mario vs Donkey Kong ripoff. Actually ended up pretty good. I mean, it's not amazing or anything, but uh, it's way better than it has any right to be. And you know what? I was wrong. Fruits and veg just taste pretty good. Man, I've been missing out on this for years. <coughs> One of my five a day. And the patron of the week is Johnny Mind, who uh, probably doesn't mind being the patron of the week, eh? See what I did there? Uh, I told you I was a genius.